Since the dawn of time, man has looked to the heavens and yelled one simple query. Can you game on a Mac? Well, I'm here to answer that question with the new 2018 MacBook Pro. For our test, we will be using the 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro because it has a discrete graphics card, more precisely the Radeon Pro 560X. A modest increase to last year's Radeon 560 found in the older MacBook Pros. Now, this is strictly a gaming on Mac video, so we won't be using any sort of Windows Boot Camp for this video. These are games that are readily available to play on Mac OS. We will be testing five games, League of Legends, Fortnite, StarCraft II, Civilization VI, and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with our first game, League of Legends. League of Legends is one of the most popular esports games, and the 2018 MacBook Pro runs this thing at max settings like a champ. League of Legends isn't a demanding game at all, so you can easily reach max resolution 2800 by 1800 and run the game at a locked 60 frames per second, so you're always ready to spin to win. League of Legends isn't a particularly demanding game, and the Mac client is actually pretty well optimized for Mac, so you're not going to really suffer from any low frame rate drops like some other games I might mention, but I do like to check in on some of the most popular titles when I'm doing testing for gaming, and League of Legends still remains a very popular title that a ton of people still play today, and you can rest assured it runs great on the new MacBook Pros. Speaking of popular games, Fortnite is currently one of the most popular games around. I'm actually not that great at this game, I kind of miss the hype train surrounding it, but here's my first and only kill I got while capturing gameplay. You would expect this relatively low demanding game to run great on macOS. Fortnite even recommends running on high settings for the hardware I'm using. The graphics look okay for a relatively stylized and low graphic demanding game. While typically Fortnite isn't the most graphically intensive game, it's not that well optimized for Mac OS. While Fortnite does run on Mac OS and it can even achieve 60 frames per second on those high settings, the frame rate is not consistent at all and keeps dropping under the 60 frames per second rating. Frame rate drops are everywhere and the game stutters a lot even on the lowest settings available. Fortnite is certainly playable on the Mac, but it's a good example to show you how a poorly optimized game might not run so well even if the graphics settings aren't that demanding. There's really no excuse for a game like Fortnite to be this poorly optimized for the Mac, but unfortunately it is, so even if you're playing on low settings, you can expect the frame rate to drop and you can expect a lot of stuttering while you're playing this game. Now that we've looked at the worst optimized game on the Mac, let's look at something that's better optimized using Apple's latest graphics API, Metal. If you couldn't tell, I'm a huge StarCraft fan. StarCraft 2 has a great story mode and an even better multiplayer where you can spend countless hours perfecting your builds, mastering your micro and macro skills. StarCraft 2 is an older game, but it can get quite graphically demanding, especially when turning it up to its highest settings. The game gets particularly demanding during huge battle scenes where a lot of units are present and a lot of special effects like explosions may be taking place. StarCraft 2 is one of the most optimized games on the Mac platform. It can run on ultra to high settings, achieving as high as 60 frames per second. Although you can expect lower frame rates if you have a lot of units on screen or if the battle is particularly intensive with lots of explosions and effects, you can expect sudden spikes or frame drops. Putting StarCraft 2 on medium settings, you can expect a constant 60 frames per second during playing with frame rates going as high as 120 frames per second. You can also raise the resolution to 2800 by 1800, but you will get lower frame rates averaging around 50 to 60 frames per second. Overall, StarCraft 2 is a pretty well optimized game for the Mac platform. You can kind of play around with the settings if you want to higher the resolution, lower the resolution, put the game on ultra or high settings, or put it on a low setting with a really high FPS count. This is one of the best games for the Mac and one of the only games I know that currently uses Apple's Metal API, which really does help it achieve these rock-solid frame rates at higher settings. Another good optimized game for the Mac is Civilization VI. Don't let the cartoony aesthetic of Civilization VI fool you, this can be a very demanding game, especially as you reach the later parts of the game and have thousands of different units, buildings, and actions taking place per turn. Civilization VI runs pretty well on the Mac on medium settings, the frame rate can get 
as high as 60 FPS in the early stages of the game, but expect that to taper off to 30 to 45 FPS as civilizations advance and more and more units and structures appear on the screen. On a game like Civilization, high settings are actually playable. This is because it's a turn-based game, so having frame dips or a lower frame rate doesn't impact the gameplay as much. As you turn up the graphics, put up the resolution, you can expect 20 to 30 frames per second at the start of the game, but as the game gets more complex, expect that to slow down dramatically into the 13 to 20 frames per second area. Civilization 6 isn't as well optimized as StarCraft 2. I don't think it's using the Metal API, but it's still actually a really good port for Mac OS. Another game that I like to play is actually an older title called Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Like I said, the game is a bit older, but it has a pretty good Mac client. It's also an incredibly fun game, especially if you're a huge Lord of the Rings fan like myself. Shadow of War runs best at medium settings with a max of 50 frames per second, however you can expect to play most of the game around 35 frames per second and expect some sudden dips on particularly taxing battles and explosions into 17 frames per second. Adjusting the game to high graphics settings, you'll be playing around with an average of 26 frames per second, and while it's certainly playable at just below 30 frames per second on high settings, and the max frames per second can go as high as 41 frames per second, I actually actually recommend against playing the game this way, as once you start to reach large battle scenes with lots of on-screen characters, the game will start to drop frames and stutter all over the place. This can quickly turn your once smooth running game into a stuttering mess. So can you game on a Mac? Yes, you can. It's no secret that the Mac has had a bad reputation for gaming, and that's partly warranted. There's a limited selection of games when compared to Windows. Also, games that are poorly optimized for the Mac will run poorly even if you're using the best Mac hardware available. And games can achieve better performance by tuning down the graphics or lowering the resolution. There's a lot of variables here that can take a game from unplayable to playable. The Mac is a very expensive computer, and you shouldn't buy a Mac for the purpose of gaming alone. The Radeon 560X isn't the best card for gaming. It's not really optimized for it. It's more optimized for Apple's own professional apps, but if you want to play a few games, especially light eSport games like League of Legends, or heavily optimized games from developers like Blizzard, there should be a good enough selection of games to keep you entertained. <sighs> if only there was some way to add a better graphics card to the Mac.